Hello, everybody. Buenas tardes. ¿Cómo están? Que yeah. okay, bueno. I'm so glad that everyone's here. We're delighted to have you all here. Happy to Friday. Yes. We are going to have a really nice event. I'm sure you're going to love everything about it. Este es este que muchos de ustedes yo me imagino que ya repitieron, vinieron con nosotros el año pasado y nos da mucho gusto tenerlos aquí otra vez. Este, los que es la primera vez, pues yo estoy segura que se van a quedar encantados y van a, y van a venir cada año este, el 6 de enero. Bueno, yo soy Rocío Vázquez, yo soy la cónsul alterna en el Consulado de México en Filadelfia. Este evento lo hacemos cada año en colaboración con el Centro Kimmel y con el Centro Cultural Mexicano. El Centro Cultural Mexicano y bueno, el Consulado obviamente parte de las actividades que hacemos es tratar uno... De, de, de fomentar la identidad cultural de aquellos menores, aquellos niños que tienen, tienen herencia mexicana, ¿verdad? Y también para que la gente de otras culturas, de otras tradiciones, de otros países, conozcan la riqueza y la maravilla que es lo que es la, la cultura y las tradiciones mexicanas también. Every year we partner with, uh, with the Kimmel Center. This is a very great event that we do with them. And uh, also, I'm, I'm Rocio Vasquez, I'm the Deputy Consul of the uh, Mexican Consulate in Philadelphia. We partner with the Kimmel and with the Mexican Cultural Center. And this is one of the many activities that we do throughout the year, both to try to foment, to promote the cultural identity of the, especially the, the, the Mexican-American youth here, uh, or Mexican youth, and also so people from other cultures, from other traditions from other countries know more about the incredible wealth and richness of the Mexican culture. Uh, bueno, pues este, vamos aquí, eh, no sé muchos, vamos a tener varias actividades. Uno, que igual algunos ya comenzaron, eh, vamos a hacer este, lo que es la carta a los Reyes Magos. Eh, después se van a hacer regalos y luego pues, también va a haber piñatas y obviamente la tradicional rosca de Reyes para aquellos que no saben Ustedes saben que en todo el mundo, pues los cristianos celebran el día de hoy lo que es la Epifanía, que es este, pues, el día que los reyes magos conocieron a Jesús. ¿okay? Es una tradición obviamente religiosa, pero claro, ya se ha vuelto algo cultural, no necesariamente ligado, ligado a la parte religiosa. Cada país lo celebra diferente, pero en México pues lo celebramos de manera especial. Y lo hacemos, uno, naturalmente los reyes magos, le traen regalos a los niños. Ahora, pues ya Santa Claus y los Reyes Magos, antes sea el niño Dios, pues ahora le traen a todos algunos suertudos y algunos, pues nada más es este, eh, los Reyes Magos. Por otro lado, se hace lo que es, se corta la, una rosca de Reyes. La rosca de Reyes viene de una tradición desde el siglo XIV, empezó en Francia y luego en España, etc. La rosca, pues es un pan que tiene una forma avalada, que representa el amor infinito de Dios. Y dentro del pan hay un, un muñequito que es el niño Dios. Y, este, y luego afuera van a ver ustedes eh, pues ciertas decoraciones que representan las joyas de la corona de los reyes magos. ¿Okay? La tradición en México es la gente parte la rosca de reyes y adentro hay un niño Jesús. Y quien saca la re, la, la, el niño Jesús les toca comprar los tamales y el atole el chocolate para el 2 de febrero que es el Día de la Candelaria. Entonces, bueno, a los niños les fascina sacarlos, a los padres no tanto, ¿verdad? Porque acá uno tiene que pagar tamales para todos. Imagínense, aquí como 500 personas tenemos que pagar tamales. Tradicionalmente era un niño Dios, ahorita pues ya depende de lo grande. Aquí lo grande de la rosca, seguramente va a haber más de 20 muñequitos en la rosca que vamos a tener. Ya igual y vieron algunos la rosca, esto lo hicieron eh, la, la panadería Amigos Bakery y es deliciosa. So now, well, I'm going to say it in Spanish. Well, I just wanted to yeah, briefly tell you a little bit, and then I know that my colleagues are going to talk a little bit more about that. The different activities that we're going to be doing, kids, maybe some of them started already, are going to write a, a letter to the, to the three wise kings, and, which is a tradition. In Mexico, as in many other parts of the world, like I mentioned, this is the day that we celebrate the Epiphany, which is when wise men Um, met Jesus, the, the, the baby Jesus, which is, yeah, it comes obviously from a religious point, but it's become more a tradition. So the three wise men bring kids um, now 
nowadays they bring them gifts just as the wise man brought gifts to Jesus. Now in Mexico, we have a tradition of that, the, 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 the gifts that are given to the children. They normally put their shoe out for the either horse or elephant or, or camel that the wise king ride. They put their shoe and they put some hay maybe so they know their way and so they can leave the, the, the uh, gifts on the night of the, si the fifth, the morning of the sixth, so they have their gifts on the sixth of January. Now another tradition is this bread that we, we, cut, we call Rosca de Reyes, which is a bread, this is a tradition that started in France in the 14th century, came through Spain, and then obviously Latin America, we were part of a, a Spanish colony, and this came to different parts of Latin America. Many have a different type of, of, of bread that you, that you cut, cut every year. But in Mexico, the interesting, about, the interesting thing about, about it is there's a bread that's normally oval, which represents the infinite love of God. And inside the, the, the bread, the baby Jesus is there tucked in. And the baby Jesus, when everyone gathers and cuts the bread, Whoever gets the baby Jesus has to buy the tamales for the whole party that was there for when to cut the, the Rosca de Reyes on the second day of February, which is Candlemas. So that's a tradition. The idea is we never end party. We celebrate parties all over in, in December, January, and we try to start it in February too. So it's a really nice tradition. Uh, normally kids love to get the baby Jesus. The parents not so much because they have to buy tamales for, for everyone. But we, this year, we're going to do, well, the, the writing of the letters. We're going to do also, we're going to give a, a nice presence to the kids here. We're going to have a, a story, obviously, about the, the three wise men. And we're going to cut the delicious Rosca de Reyes that Amigos Bakery brought for us and give chocolate, which also Lucha Cartel was uh, gracious enough to sponsor. So I hope you enjoy, like I said, well, from the Mexican Council Cultural Center, this is something we enjoy. We start the year, calendar year, with this activity. We love it. I hope you learn more about what the Mexican Cultural, does, uh, Cultural Center does to foment, to get people to know about the beautiful traditions and culture of Mexico. So now uh, Yvette, which she's the uh, executive director of the Cultural Center, is going to give some words also. We really want to thank the Kimmel Center, Amy Harding, everyone, all the colleagues here at the Kimmel Center for partnering like every year for this event, which gets bigger every year. And thank you very much, everybody, and I hope you enjoy. Este, gracias a todos. Espero que disfruten mucho. Well, thank you everybody for being here. I'm, I'm just going to say a few words. I do want to acknowledge the presence of Telemundo, one of our sponsors, and Independence. So they're back there if you want to visit their tables. They're, uh, they're always uh, great to us. So thank you, Independence and Telemundo. I hope you, you can listen to me. <laughs> And um, well, as Consul uh, Vasquez was telling you, we're going to have a short representation of the Three Kings Day. And then at uh, 5.50, we're going to be doing some breaking of piñatas. Piñatas se van a romper a las 5.50 de aquel lado. Y el chocolate caliente y la rosca se van a empezar a repartir a las 6.10. So hot chocolate and the bread, the beautiful bread you see over there, we're going to start giving it away at 610. So thank you very much and I hope you enjoy this. Hi everyone. Hola. Mm, buenas noches. Buenas tardes. Good evening everyone. Uh, my name is Cecilia Huesca. Mi nombre es Cecilia Huesca y estoy muy contenta de estar aquí con ustedes en un día tan especial para nosotros como el Día de los Reyes Magos. I'm very happy to be here in this very special day for us, for our culture. Uh, the three King's Day, and I'm going to read for you uh, the story of how this day started to be celebrated. Voy a leer para ustedes cómo comenzó, la historia de cómo comenzó este día a ser celebrado. Um, I'm going to do it in English and in Spanish, so bear with me. Um, Los Tres Reyes Magos de Oriente, The Three Wise Kings of the East. Hace más de dos mil años, apareció una estrella muy luminosa en el cielo. Esa estrella era especial. 
diferente al resto y señalaba un lugar donde estaba ocurriendo algo extraordinario. Para descubrirlo, solo había que seguir su estela. Over 2,000 years ago, a bright star appeared in the sky. That star was special, different from the rest, and showed a place something extraordinary was happening. To discover that, one just had to follow its paths of light. La estrella indicaba el lugar donde había nacido un nuevo rey. La gran noticia se divulgó rápidamente por todo el mundo. Emocionados, los tres reyes magos de Oriente, que aún no se conocían, emprendieron su viaje, teniendo como guía a la estrella. The star indicated the place where a new king had been born. This great news spread rapidly throughout the world. Excited, the three wise men, who at this point did not, didn't know each other, set out a journey guided by the star. Un poco antes de llegar a Jerusalén, Aparece una espesa niebla que no deja ver el cielo. La única forma de ver la estrella para continuar el camino es subir un monte y mirar por encima de la niebla. Los tres reyes magos tienen la misma idea y coinciden al subir en lo alto del monte Calvario. A little before arriving in Jerusalem, a thick fog appeared. The only way to see the start and continue on the journey is to climb a mountain and look over the fog. The three wise men have the same idea and coincide were reaching up top of the Mount Calvary. Melchor, Gaspar y Baltasar charlan animadamente y se empiezan a forjar entre ellos una amistad que durará siglos. Al amanecer, deciden continuar el camino juntos. Melchor, Gaspar and Baltasar chat excitedly and begin to forge a strong friendship. At down they decide to continue their journey together. Al llegar a Jerusalén, el rey Herodes le recibe amablemente en su castillo y les pide a los tres reyes magos que si encuentran al nuevo rey, se lo hagan saber cuando regresen. Pero Melchor, Gaspar y Baltasar desconfían de él y continúan al día siguiente en su camino. When they arrive in Jerusalem, King Herod gracefully welcomes them in his castle and asks the three wise men if they will find a new king to let him know when they return. But they didn't trust him, so they continued their way to follow in the following day. La estrella los va guiando hasta una pequeña aldea llamada Belén. En el camino se van encontrando a gente que les habla del nacimiento de un niño muy especial, cuyo nombre es Jesús. Todos llevan regalos para el niño Jesús, del que comentan llegará a ser el rey de reyes. La estrella que los ha guiado durante todo el viaje ilumina un humilde portal, donde están los niños Jesús, el niño Jesús y sus padres José y María. Los tres reyes magos se arrodillan y honran al nuevo rey con sus regalos. The star led them to the small town of Bethlehem. On the way, they met people who tell them about the birth of a very special child whose name is Jesus. They all have gift for the child. They saw, um, they saw who welcomed the king of kings. The star that has guided them throughout the journey illuminates the humble doorway. With it found the, the child, Jesus, with his parents, Joseph and Mary. The three kings need an honor new king of the king with their gifts. Los reinos de Rubia y Arabia eran gobernados por el rey mago Melchor. Era muy sabio y le gustaba escribir libros contando las historias de sus viajes. Melchor decidió partir llevando consigo un pequeño cofre repleto de oro como regalo para el nuevo rey. The kingdoms of Rubia and Arabia were ruled by King Melchor. He was very wise and liked to write books telling the stories of his trips. Melchor decided to leave, taking with himself a small chest full of gold as a gift for the new king. El reino de Tarsis y de la isla Griseola, el rey mago Gaspar, era conocido por su gran generosidad y bondad. Había decidido llevar como regalo un cofre con su mejor incienso 
que era aromático y mágico y cuyo humo formaba asombrosas figuras. In the Kingdom of Tharsis and the island of Egrigreg, King Gaspar was known for his great generosity and goodness. He had decided to take as a present a chest with his best incense, aromatic and magical, and whose smoke formed amazing figures. El rey mago Baltasar gobernaba el reino de Godolia y Saba. Era un rey muy querido por todos, porque siempre sabía cómo ayudar a los demás. Quiso llevar como regalo un cofre de mirra, en el que se podían crear medicinas, perfumes o incluso papiros. King Balthasar ruled the kingdom of Saba. He was a king there after all because he was always smart and knew how to help others. He wanted to take a chest of merit as a gift in which medicines, perfumes, and even paprika could be created. Melchor Gaspar y Baltasar han llegado al fin de su viaje y se despiden desde entonces. Deciden llevar un regalo especial a cada niño en el mundo y así conmemorar el nacimiento de Jesús. Como son magos, saben que todo es posible con su magia y eso lo hace especial. Y colorín colorado, este cuento se ha acabado. Melchor Gaspar y Baltasar have, perdón, falta el inglés. I know it's kind of confusing. Melchor Gaspar and Balthazar have reached the end of the journey and say goodbye. Ever since then, they have decided to bring a special gift to every child in the world. And it's this way to commemorate the birth of Jesus. Colorín colorado, este cuento se ha acabado. Now you can clap. Thank you so much. Um, and as a very important note, hoy en día, la tradición de los tres reyes magos continúa los niños dirigen sus cartas pidiendo regalos por su buen comportamiento durante el año. Para portarse bien hay que ser generoso, respetuoso con sus padres y maestros. Yes, I'm a teacher, soy una maestra. <laughs> y realizar una buena acción que llene sus corazones de felicidad. Today, the three wise men or three kings tradition continues. Children write their letters to the kings asking for gifts for their good behavior during the year. To behave well, you have to be generous, respectful to your parents and teachers, and perform a good action that fills your heart with happiness. Have a wonderful day. Muchas gracias y Dios bendiga. Gracias. Thank you, Cecilia.